station on space to ground. I'm going to have to talk really quickly to fit all of 2016 in one show. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. 2016 was packed with incredible events on the station, so let's cover a few highlights, starting with the science. Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko ended their one-year mission, writing several new chapters in human research and preparing humanity to spend extremely long amounts of time in space, exactly what we'll be doing on the journey to Mars. One technology that could shape the way humans travel to Mars and beyond is the first human-rated expandable habitat, the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, which was installed during some exciting robotics in May. And keeping a unique eye on our planet, the Meteor payload has been watching space rocks burn up in our atmosphere to help study their composition and behavior, the only time shooting stars have been observed from space. And in an exciting demonstration in molecular biology, NASA's Kate Rubin sequenced DNA in space for the first time ever, ultimately sequencing over 2 billion base pairs. DNA sequencing could help identify microbes on the space station or one day help identify signs of life on distant planets. And like most years, there were tons of launches, spacewalks, and more. Four Soyuz crafts launched crews to the station with crew members coming from the US, Russia, Japan, and France. Seven cargo vehicles carried supplies to the station in 2016, including two SpaceX Dragons, two orbital ATK Cygnuses, two Russian Progresses, and a Japanese HTV. Four spacewalks also took place, including the installation of the International Docking Adapter for use by future US commercial crew vehicles. And in May, the space station marked its 100,000th orbit around the Earth, traveling a distance of more than 2.6 billion miles. And 2017 will start off busy as ever with a lot in store for the orbital laboratory. There will be two major spacewalks in the first two weeks of the new year, with the Expedition 50 crew installing new lithium-ion batteries on the station on January 6th and 13th. Later on, NASA's Peggy Whitson will become the first female astronaut to command the station twice when she assumes the reins for Expedition 51. Several astronauts will also be making their first trips to space next year, including NASA astronauts Jack Fisher, Mark Vandehei, and Scott Tingle. And by the end of 2017, NASA's commercial crew program will be ramping up as we get closer to sending crews to the station on U.S. spacecraft for the first time since the space shuttle retired. We'll close this year with a special message from the crew for the holidays. Keep sending your questions in 2017 using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next year. I think being on board the ISS gives us a, a slightly different perspective of Christmas, and that's seeing the planet as a whole. And it actually reinforces the fact that we should live as one people and strive for peace. So from the Expedition 50 crew, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.